Lovers, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Out Tarot, here with the monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Pisces, sun, moon, and rising for the month of February 2021. Remember, Pisces, I am doing a competition every month for this year, 2021. Whichever zodiac sign shares the video the most and gets the most views at the end of February, I'm going to choose free two free winners of one hour here with me that's an $85 value all you have to do is share the video across all your social media make sure you like make sure you are your notification bell is pressed so that you know when you win let's go now if you notice I'm going out of order there's a reason I'm going out of order I'm going with who spirit want me to speak to first so even though this is Aquarius month and some of you um, are Pisces some of you your birthday is this month as well Remember, if your birthday runs in the month of February, you automatically qualify for birthday 60. If you have not had an invoice canceled in the last 90 days, you can hit me up, allseeingoutarot at gmail.com, and put it's my birthday month. Buy your reading. Come sit down, and let's play. Okay? Um, yeah. I think that was all. Let's go. Spirit and Universe, what's the message you got for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising, February 2021. Give me Pisces. Okay. First one out. Six of Pentacles. The Death Card. Oh wow. The Five of Pentacles. I don't like it, Pisces. Under the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Under the Death card, Nine of Swords. Under the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Under the Ace of Pentacles, the World. Under the Nine of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Under the Hierophant, the Moon. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck for my Pisces, 2021 February, the devil. We got a problem here, Pisces. I'm not going to lie to you. It kind of lines up with what I've seen uh, for the King of Cups. I believe I did it on a weekend romance, okay? It was a weekend romance report maybe about two weeks ago. I told you you were in danger. Those of you that were Scorpio and Pisces, you're in danger of losing, now I understand what you may have done to put yourself in this bad light with spirit. Okay, so when I say losing, I'm not talking about you're going to be homeless, you're in the street. No, you're just going to, you, you fucked up on a test. There was a test that came your way where it would have been financially lucrative for the entire years to come. Okay, this is not, this was a multiple fold blessing, but there was a requirement of you Pisces that you were supposed to do now you didn't got in bed Originally maybe with the king of Pentacles. This is a Capricorn or a Taurus individual. All right that maybe you started a business with and somewhere along the lines You didn't play fear and because of this unfairness Spirit got pissed the fuck off and set you down so when I say sit you down, I mean the way that you, if you could see what I see, the way that you would have popped off this year was unprecedented. Finally, for, for a long time, you've been suffering. I told you there would be a lump sum of money. There would be some sort of business opportunity that would come to you, but there's a requirement. I told you not to cast your pearls on swine. All right, now go back. Listen to the videos. I always warn you before it happened. How many of you watch? I don't know. Shit. Now, whoever this person is, this King of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus, this was not only the test, but this was also the person that was going to make you super successful. But something happened between y'all. Okay, something happened between y'all and you destroyed this relationship and you ultimately destroyed the trust 
of this Capricorn Taurus, okay? We got the Death card, the Nine of Swords, and then the King of Pentacles. Something's up here with this Nine of Swords. This is maybe you've seen that in some way you couldn't trust this person, or you just got this feeling that this is not the right person I want to go into business with. Maybe they don't seem as serious. They did not seem as serious as you were about the business. And it kind of looks to me that maybe your focus is different. You know, your focus is on yourself, your family, yourself and your family, maybe even your husband with that hierophant being there, okay? That, that's what you care about the most. You spent years praying to be successful in life, years to be successful. And instead of freeing up your plate, meaning, you know, um, most of you Pisces, have issues with smothering your partner. They say cancer. It's not cancer. Trust me. It, it's more Pisces than anything. You smother your partner. You worry about your man. You worry about your woman, you know, in a negative light. You know, like, so, so a lot of you Pisces are worried about infidelity, worried about cheating, and trying to stop the person from doing so. When spirit just wants you to focus on you. Because you can't change no one. You can't stop no one from what they're doing. You damn sure can't prevent yourself from being hurt. And that's what it looks like you were trying to do. You got the five of pentacles, however, fit in the moon. What this is telling me is that you had a relationship that was suffering. This is a relationship that was suffering. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you broke up and you got back together. Maybe you were holding in that whole baby scandal that happened with Pisces. Maybe, you know, it was something like that. And now... Instead of focusing on business, because here's that big lump sum I told you about, that, that blessing that was going to come from the universe, the Ace of Pentacles in the world here. This is the blessing that came from the universe. Instead of focusing on, I finally got something, now it's time for me to put it to business, okay, to get in bed, uh, sort of with the devil, you know, get in bed with someone who could make me super successful. You gambled on the wrong thing is what happened. Wrong person. Wrong relationship. You, you you gambled on the person that you trusted. Definitely wasn't as Capricorn Taurus. You trusted somebody totally different that... And, and there looks like there could be even some sort of jealousy there. Because that Nine of Swords can mean all sorts of things. You know, like... Um, maybe you felt in some way that this person, as Capricorn Taurus, was trying to take over. And they weren't sharing. You understand? And that's just the way Capricorn, especially if it's Capricorn, this is the way that Capricorn, this is the way that motivates Capricorn, okay, to, to take on something because they don't trust no one's judgment but their own, but they're very great at entrepreneurship. These are, these are your business people, <laughs> Capricorn, okay, and, and the Zodiac sign and all the Zodiac signs, these are your big boss motherfuckers, okay, this is the, the money mogul behind the fucking company, it's always Capricorn very successful successful people, they can make lemonade out of lemons, like seriously, I mean, these are people that have when it comes down to business ethic or negotiation skills or marketing, these are your motherfucker winners, trust me okay, now whoever else you didn't gamble on, was the wrong motherfucker I'm going to tell you the truth. person you went towards was the wrong person. And it was more so out of ego. Out of ego. You didn't want somebody to get ahead of you. You didn't want, especially this Capricorn Taurus, to get ahead of you. When all along this was your vehicle to take you to where you needed to go. All right? So does that mean I'm going to be fucked up forever, Bella? No, it doesn't mean you'll be fucked up forever. It's an opportunity. You know, you, you passed up this opportunity. We throw away opportunities all the time. You know, it may take some time for you to get that opportunity back. All right? It may take some time for you to get that opportunity back. Because it looks like spirit tested you at the time where you were most blessed. You know, like, what is it that you see, Bella? Okay. It's kind of like you get a large settlement at the time where you're in a relationship with a motherfucker who's taking you for everything. You get a large settlement at the time when your man is cheating on you the most. You see what I'm saying? So here you are with all this money. And you just want to douse all that money in that partner. Instead of actually going for the gusto yourself. You understand what I'm saying to you? You're focused on the wrong shit. So this opportunity, this money burnt through your fingers. Okay? 
And now you up Shit's Creek without a fucking pedal. That's at least where you're going. You got to Five of Pentacles over top of you. Five of Pentacles is over top of you. This is where you're going. This is your near future. All right. You have the devil card right here. This is owned by something, owned by someone, and it's probably a prostitute of love. Okay, being held by someone you love so much. See, money doesn't matter to you, Pisces. It's love that matters to you. You don't give a shit what the money is doing. Put me in a fucking box as long as I got this motherfucker that I love. You don't care about that, okay? So this is why spirit connected you with this Capricorn Taurus because this person had the ideas to carry your ass when you're going crazy and you're, you know, investing in this relationship and, and letting your business take a back seat. This person was the one that was still going to run your shit. But now that you don't have the support of this individual, you're now responsible for everything. And that's not good when you have a love of two different things. It's like a tug of war. You're being pulled. I want my business to be successful. I just started a hair company. I don't care what kind of business it is. I just started a makeup company. But I'm so in love with this motherfucker and he keeps cheating on me. And I can't be at work because I got to chase him or I got to chase her. That's where you're at. I hope I made myself clear. That's exactly what's going on with you. Okay? Relationships are destroying your business mind. Because in your life, relationship comes first. Is it salvageable? At this point, I'm going to tell you the truth. It's salvageable. It's just that you're going to have to... Let me tell you something. Watch the motherfuckers around you. Because it looks like this relationship between you and this Capricorn Taurus is destroyed. This shit's over. You got the death card. This is over. You guys will never go in business ever again together. Okay? So, can it be saved? Yes, it can be saved once you figure out what has meaning to you. You got to figure out what has meaning to you. It's either you're going to leave your problem. Because, see, it would make sense if spirit did it all at one time. Damn, if you bless me, give me a million fucking dollars, and I have the perfect relationship where I'm loving my husband and he's loving me back, or I'm loving my wife, she's loving me back, then I can work, I can think. But they don't do it that way. They give you the millions of fucking dollars when your motherfucking man is cheating like a motherfucker and now you're faced with a decision. Do I still get this motherfucking money? And is he going to take this money I give him and pay this other chick? And You see what I'm saying? That's where you're at right now. All saying I tear at gmail.com, especially if your birthday is in February. You get a big discount. Hit me up, okay? Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You need a personal reading. All seeing I tarot at gmail.com. In the comment section, just in the event that your sign does numbers this month, you need to let me know that you are a Pisces sun sign. And you need to tell me why you feel you deserve the one hour free reading. Okay? All other sales, hit the drop down box. It'll tell you the pricing for the month of February. And I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much, Pisces.